Alright, so what's up you guys? Of course, always welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle, which is truly this character. And today we're going against Reddit player Ogre64. And um, I see no Pokemon level restrictions. Which has me worried. It usually is a call for um me, me, no, 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 this is no your team though. Um he doesn't have a like swamp this is grounded Pokemon, that's that's about it. Um I don't know if I should be worried here or not. I mean this is a Coco team. Clearly. It's absolutely Coco there. Um I wonder. Do I dare to start off with this on the Ooh. I mean, my jam it, this is gonna be, yeah, wow, mmm. <laughs> I'm actually lead off with, um, I have a useless Pokemon on the field in, um, my Celesteela is not made for this. <laughs> it is absolutely wrecked by this. This is a good Team Ogre. A little 100s, haven't specified my EVs for that, so that can also be interesting. So I don't know how heavy the damage output is, I just know rising voltage is a thing. Starts off with Tapu Koku. Which is shiny. It was actually shiny as... Um, caught in this game shiny. Question is whether or not he's a screener. T-Bolt here hurts me no matter what, I don't have a natural switch into it. But he doesn't know that. I just got a meteor beam. Does he U-turns? Cool! And now he thinks I'm a crazy person. And all I can say to him is yes. <laughs> Let's see, he brings in Corviknight. Which doesn't have to be all bad. There's some pressure there, I feel it. What can Corviknight do? If I think about this, what can Corviknight really do? It can U-turns, it could power trip maybe? I'm gonna Meteor Beam you and I don't think it's gonna do all that much. No, 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 it's okay. We're gonna have one of mice here. Um, I have no idea about this set. He could probably just roost through this. If I were him, I'd consider it. I'll turn them again. Now I'm really nimble. U turns. That's fair. I should be faster than anything on his team. Ready Licky. Yeah, there we go. I know this guy. Let's do this. Wanna play with no restrictions, then I'll I'll go at it. You created me. That said, though, um, I'm just really leveling here. What are the switches that follows? That makes sense. Here comes Swampert. Swampert could be carrying a roll. Oh, 
I'll just max the airstream, try to get as much damage in there as possible. <clears throat> like, if I were him, what would I do? It makes sense for him just going for um, max liquidation or whatever it's called, just to really, really, really um, get as much damage as possible in there. Let's see. Max Air Stream. Wow, is this a Salt Vest? Wow, this is cool. There's Max Geisha. Nothing to it. Huh. Oh, that was a crit. I was like, huh. It did good. It did real good, actually. No, it's leftovers. It's just really, really chunky. Yeah, I need to go for it. I have nothing. Max God, yeah, that's the right play. That's absolutely the right play. And do I have a switch into the Max Geisha? I really don't. So, we are slash here just to get as much damage in there as possible. Could always miss. And this match case should have ruined me. Wow, yeah. Mmm. Big boy damage. But this Regilecki did not get to do the things I think he wanted to do, which I can live with. So he's gonna get out of his form after this. We're gonna force him out with a fish's rend. And there is no way in hell he's gonna enjoy anything that I'll try to do from here. However, he could be faster. But he doesn't enjoy switching into anything I throw at him. He could side play it, just go for the last itch uh, rocks if he outspeeds. This turns out to be quite interesting game. And oh, yeah, with Ross, I think that's fair. Probably bringing Corviknight to try to stomach a hit, which with the boost I get from Rain, I I don't know how much this will do. Booyah! It's Rocky Helmet though. So it could be slower. So I'm attacking again. Yeah, it's slower. Good. Good, 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 good. The thing that worries me now is absolutely, without a doubt, in my mind, um, cure him. <laughs> if it's a dragon that's cure him, then I don't know. I just don't know. I don't have the means to stop this. I'm gonna sit in Esrion. Like, if it decides to attack me, that's good. If it decides to try and dance, that I just think it's GG from there. Like, there is no coming back from that. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna go for Aurora Veil. Fusion Bolt. Ooh. 
So... Fusion Bolt. He could do that again. I'm gonna send him slow puff. I think that should stress him out a little bit. Dragon ass. Yeah, that's fat. Now it speeds everything in my team. And there is no reason for me of actually doing anything but play rough here. See what to play. Icicle Crash with Space doing. One is doing. Oh. He only got two times. That sucks. That sucks so bad. I get my Citrus though. Which is kind of nice. But that was not what I was going for. Let's see, Unburdened, will it save me? Still outspeeds me. And connects. One. Two. Three. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Yes! Yes! I could always miss this. Whoa! <laughs> Hell, yes. Yes, this is cool. Okay. Oh, slurp off. I don't know what you did, but you did good. Here comes Tapu Koko, and... <sighs> oh, here's the thing, you turned, so... I don't even know which mods he has left. Right now, whatever I am able to create here is a victory in my book. Oh yeah, he has Zapdos. That's a thing. Um, we're probably not winning this one, but I would be lying if I didn't enjoy myself. Play rough will do. Shouldn't do all that much. Ah, we, yeah, good. That's clear, clear, crit, of course. Hundred percent sense. And my veil should be gone now. Yeah. So what do I do? I can't outspeed him, I know that. However, we have a few turns here of absolute madness. He could send in Swamperts. I would, if I were him, yeah. So here comes Swamperts. I get my Reflect up. And I should get my light screen up. And if it goes with Stealth Rock, I'm just gonna keep rapid spinning, right? That's the play. Toxic. I can do toxic. Pretty surprised it didn't decide to kill me. So I'll just do the hard play then. I'll call this a hard play because I don't believe it is to play. So Toxic should have Stealth Rocks. We know for sure he has Earthquake. And Liquidation for sure. Toxic again, this is a mad lad. <laughs> Whatever he decided to do, I think he did right. So I should lock myself into free strides time. Because I need him killed. Yeah, withdraws, which I think is cool. Two Sapdos. 
That's very aggressive. Let's see, how many turns do I have left? Three turns of tail, either three or two. Yeah, I need to do this. Yeah, he U-turns. Which I think is a very, very, very fair of him. Back to Swampert's. Let's see. Check again. How many turns? Two turns. Gonna send in a Saxis. Gonna do a super aggressive play here. If he goes for Stealth Rocks, it's in theory fine. Because I can Rapid Spin. There we go. I was so in on that. We've seen Toxic. We've seen Toxic. <laughs> he should have the combination of Earthquake and whatnot. Okay, focus, 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 focus. I can't scale shot versus this. He could sack Sactos. He just decided to stay in, which is absolutely mad. Goes for Toxic. Liquidation, Earthquake. Toxic. I've seen saying I said toxic so many times that I think it lost all its meaning. Right now we have speed Koku. And there is no reason for us anymore to um, to go for a soul stance. We in theory won. Because there is no way he can parry. He can just switch back and forth and stall me through here, which I think would be all right. Switching Tabu Koku, we get him on a switch in. Oh, this was a good, really, really, really good game. By the way, if somehow this doesn't work, um, even though it should, um, I should be able to rapid spin and reset my hail. I know that, but just that I don't have to makes this all the sweeter. A Saxus come in, scale shot, and all of a sudden, Garchomp was an apex predator again. It is just one of those mods that makes sense. It is so phenomenal, so very often. I'm scale shot in here. Um, you could play this back and forth. Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was just about to say, trying to stall it, or not stall it, trying to get um, me to um, waste my turns uh, to get a rack up toxic damage, which I think is a good play. I actually think he did the right play by doing this. I just I didn't want to take a risk. I'd rather hit both than having a chance of missing someone. Yeah, this was a cool game. Garchomp just edging this through. And I could show it. I have Rapid Spin on my Eleki, but I think he already knows that. He should have killed my Reggie Eleki for a long time ago. So GG to my opponent. Damn. Damn, did Ogre 64 keep me at pace here? And I mean, this team was a very complete team versus me. 
and I only enabled that you know because of the Dynamax aspect if you didn't have that there was no response for me it was simple as that and with that in mind the Swamp Bird was the golden jewel of this game it took so much punishment and kept on coming and not by the way getting ready lucky to destroy me in early game was yeah that was helpful so anyway guys all you for watching hope you enjoyed this game I really did <laughs> and as always have a great day, everyone take care